Welcome to Snide Reviews. Today I've got a real pair, I've got a fake pair, and I've got, well, another fake pair, but a smaller pair. We are going to first check if these two fakes are the same. Uh, there might be two different versions on the market, and then we'll be doing a comparison between the real pair and the fake pair split screen. Um, look, check the timestamps down below if you want to skip this part and just get straight to the shoes, because... I, what I do here, if you're new here, it's I do a deep dive, I check out every single section of the shoe. And it's not for everyone, it can be a bit long, but uh, it's my channel and I like to do that. So we're going to go ahead and have a look at the box here. So comparing these two, there's a slight difference in the hue of the red, but it's ever so slight. Um, looking at the two fake boxes, they look like they might be the same. Again man, I've got them right in front of me and it's very hard to tell. Um, looking inside the shoe boxes themselves um, first I want to check obviously you've got the real ones here on the far left I want to check if this fake pair here the middle pair is the same as my wife's fake pair that she's got you're damn right we're doing the matching thing yeah I think they're gonna be pretty much the same I'll have a closer look at that later on I'm not gonna do a three-way split screen today that's just ridiculous Pretty sure that's the same fake. Kind of hard to tell on a tiny pair. She got tiny feet. So yeah, what we're going to be doing is comparing the fine details on this real pair here on the left and the fake pair on the right. Let's have a look inside the box. It comes with the Shuang Xi sticker. If you want to know what all of this is in reference to, what it all means, go check out the original review unboxing the retail pair. My retail pair didn't come with this thing, explaining how the NFC tag works. Yeah, do go check out that video if you want the details. I'm not going to go over it all over again. These two stickers, I mean, it's a sticker, but uh, there is a difference, to be honest. There's kind of ridges showing through just the way it's been pressed on the real one, on the fake one, not so much. Also, the print color is slightly different. The reds are a bit deeper. And the browns are deeper on the real one so yeah box label um look another thing i do is go over to my authentication station instagram because i'll put still images of all of these details so you, you know if you don't want to like pause it and check each thing here you can go find that on my instagram right we got them both ready. Let's have a look. We'll do the split screen action and we're gonna look super close up in full 4K and see what the difference is. Okay, so a quick look at the lateral of the left shoe, which has the dragon on it. Initial impressions are this fake is pretty good. Um, just about the placement and quality of that embroidery. So let's do the deep dive close up on the dragon's head. You can see the embroidery is just a bit more delicate, a bit more refined on the real pair on the left here. But credit where it's due, the fake one is good. Look, again, if you're new here, I don't have any agenda. I'm not trying to say one is better than the other. I'm not about that. You can see there that it's not, uh, not placed exactly the same. Yeah, I'm not about saying which one's better or anything like that. I don't care, man. You do whatever you want with your feet. Put whatever shoes you want on them. And uh, if I come across more positive than some would be, it's because I don't care. I don't care, man. Like, my real pair, I spent nearly $1,000 on them. This fake pair, $100. To me, they're shoes, all right? You do what you want. Again, the placement of the dragon, it's sitting a little bit low on the fake pair. Um, but yeah, some people would say on their videos, it's way off. It's completely off. This is totally off. I see it a different way. Credit where it's due. Very hard to replicate something like this. Um, and I think they did a cracking job of it. Okay, it's not exactly the same, no. But it is a good effort, man. It's a well put together shoe so far. Okay, anyway. My opinion on the whole thing aside, let's have a closer look at the details here. Embroidery, again, is just slightly letting us down, but it is still nice. 
looking at the back heel, there's a difference in the shape here, um, which is something that you can see on real versus fake Air Force Ones in general. It's looking a bit wider on the fake pair and the Nike text is slightly smaller. Looking at the medial side of the left shoe, this is where you've got your goldfish and the Rui. And again, looking nice, man, looking nice. It's just about placement. Placement and fine detail. So let's zoom in and have a close look at that goldfish. Slight different color aside. It's not bad, you know, it's not bad. Just a bit thicker, the thread. And just the way it's been placed, slightly different, but negligible differences. Important to know so you don't get ripped off. But if you're uh, on the other side of the fence, as it were, I wouldn't stress it, man. They still look nice. I should note the, um, the material that they've embroidered upon seems to be exactly the same. They must have got their hands on the same stuff because I can't really see any differences. Looking at the Dubray, the fake one just feels a bit flimsy. The real one, someone mentioned to me that they uh, they were like gold plated or something like that, but I don't know, man. But they do feel like they've got a bit more, uh, they're a bit thicker, a bit more substantial. Looking at the tongue tag, which is hidden behind this she symbol, nice bit of embroidery there. Kind of hard to tell, can't really see it anyway. So, you know, I'm inclined to say those are the same. Looking at the insole, the fake one feels a bit flimsy. Here again, you've got that same embroidery. You've got Nike Air Force One covered by a she symbol. Bit of a sloppy finish to the fake one where they haven't fully removed all the parts. Um, and it's, it's, it's a decent insole, the real one. Feels a bit flimsy on the fake. You can pause this and have a look yourself. Looks like the real one has bolder text. Uh, and the spacing where it says China 290 and then there's parentheses. There's no space on the real one, but there is on the fake. I mean, this speaks for itself, just not exactly the same. Not the same, just didn't, uh, didn't get the tooling for this for whatever reason. Outsole. Giving it a squeeze, uh, slightly more flex to the fake, but um, outsoles, man, very difficult to tell them apart these days. Really is. Same definition to them, same quality, got that same sort of sticky tacky feeling. All right, we're onto the right shoe and the lateral side, which shows the Phoenix. Again, just a quick overview of the side, and then we'll zoom in and have a look at that Phoenix. Again, you want to know what this all means. I mean, Dragon and Phoenix is pretty obvious, but uh, go check out the other video. So you can see here the embroidery, just not quite as tidy on the Phoenix. That head is a bit dodgy. As we move towards the swoosh, you can see that the placement is different as well as how refined it is. It's just looking a bit tidier, a bit neater on the uh, real one, as well as the way it sort of flows over the swoosh. Whereas the fake one, it's kind of just sitting on the swoosh, hasn't gone over the top. And the medial side of the right shoe. Again, from a distance, man, you wouldn't know. You would not know. And if you hadn't seen the real one, and not many will, because it was a China exclusive and they're mad expensive. I don't think anyone would know, nor care, to be honest. No one cares about this stuff. It's only on the internet that people care. In real life, no one really gives a damn what's on your feet, lads. Unless you're at a sneaker con. So this only matters if you are trying to rip someone off or avoid getting ripped off. If you're getting them to wear, just enjoy them. Okay, we're out of the split screen. Just, you know, a top-down view, you can see the shoe's shape is slightly different. And I did just chuck this fake pair on foot just quickly. Um, and they're a little bit tight. I would size up by a half, which is not something I would normally advise for an Air Force One because the real pair is quite loose. I wore them on the last video. Couldn't be asked to put these on again and do the whole split screen thing, to be honest. 
He's just came in tonight. I thought I'd just do a quick video for you. Um, yeah, I mean, for all intents and purposes, they're pretty damn similar, aren't they? Looking at the other shoe, I would say this one isn't as good. The Phoenix is not as good as the Dragon. Especially on the head area, they seem to have missed a bit out around his eye. For whatever reason, they just didn't finish that properly. But yeah, there you can see side by side, remarkably similar, yet also not entirely close, if that makes sense. I know I sound like I'm trying to be diplomatic there, but it's because I'm not really asked. <laughs> I don't care, you know. Um, you'll see on videos a lot of people bash on the fakes and praise that the retails. Um, I think a thousand dollars for a shoe is silly, but um, there you go. Now I think everyone can get the shoes which is cool it's not about that gatekeeping it's not about that got em attitude it's not about trying to one-up someone else especially not a stranger let people do what they want enjoy what they want on their feet they're not your feet <laughs>